Are you ready? So before, if I integrated something like x squared dx, it gave me x cubed over 3 and I did a plus c. Now if you look on the integrand side, the integral side, there's no numbers on it, but here we've got some numbers and these numbers are called limits. And what I do is I integrate it and then I sub in the top limit, I sub in the bottom limit and I take it away. So I'll show you. Uh, also, just for craziness, I use brackets all over the show. Um, right, so I'm going to integrate it. So x cubed becomes x to the power 4 over 4. Now what I do is I use a square bracket. The square bracket shows me that I've integrated it and I've got limits. So that tells me that I've integrated it and I've got limits. So now I put the top limit in, so I'm going to replace the x with 5. So I've got, I'm going to use normal brackets now. So I've got 5 to the power 4 over 4. So that's everything for the top limit. And now I'm going to put the bottom limit in it, which is 1. Uh, 1 to the power 4 over 4. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you stick that in your calculator, so what's 5 to the 4? So 5 squared is 25. So 625 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is 624 over 4. Oof, well, 24 divides through, doesn't it? So does 600, and it gives me 156. There, as a total. So there's one there for you to have a go at, so I'll just reveal that. So the x to the 5 over 5, and then I sub in the 3, and sub in the 1, and take it away. Put some little brackets around there to show that I'm doing the upper limit, take away the lower limit. So that there is the upper. This one here is the lower. There. Another one to have a go at. So we use the square brackets to show that we've integrated it and we're using limits. So 2x becomes x squared. That's 3x to the minus 2, remember. So that will become minus 3x to the minus 1. And then I've got 4x between minus 2 and minus 1. It's probably easier to see that as minus 3 over 1 over x. Right, so I'm going to sum in the upper limit, which is minus 1. So the upper limit is the 1 to the furthest right of the number line. So that's going to be minus 1 squared minus 3 over minus 1, if I write that as minus 3 over x, and 4 lots of minus 1. And then put my lower limit in, minus 2 squared minus 3 over minus 2 plus 4 lots of minus 2. Bung all that in your calculator with the brackets, be really, really careful and you get 5 over 2 out. Yeah. 5 over 2. There's one there for you, so see if it's done it the same. So you put it in index form, use the square brackets, tidy it up a little bit. I'm just going to make sure that these brackets are really clear because they're not really clear. Uh, upper take lower. Okay. Um, one more, and then there's a question for you, and then we've got some loads and loads of questions to practice. Right, so it says it's got a value of 18. Woo. So if I integrate it, sub in my values for my limits, it gives me 18 out. So that's what I'm saying. Right then, so if I integrate it then, 3x squared becomes 3x cubed over 3, so that's just x cubed. ax, a is a number, so that becomes ax squared over 2, and then minus 5x. All that between 1 and 4, when I finish off, it gives me a value of 18. 
Right, that's what he's saying. And I'm going to use it to find A. Right, so put my limits in. So I put my upper limit in. I've got 4, uh, four cubed plus A times 4 squared over 2. Oops, hang on. Let's move that. Yeah. Point minus 5 lots of 4. And then put 1 in. So I've got 1 cubed. A, 1 squared over 2, minus 5 lots of 1. All of that gives me a value of 18. Uh, oh, what have I got here? So that's 64. That's going to be 2A. That's going to be 20. So that's going to give me 44 plus 2A in there. Uh, that's a 1. That's a half A, that's a minus 5, that's going to give me minus 4 plus a half A. All of them are equal to 18. So when I work it out, it's equal to 18. So if I expand my brackets, I've got 44, I've got a 2A, I've got a plus 4, and I've got a minus a half A is equal to 18. So I've got 48 plus 3 over 2A is equal to 18. I'm starting to think I've got it wrong. Hang on, you donkey. You didn't stop me from making a mistake, did you? 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So that's 8 there. That's eight there. So that's eight. Take away a half is seven and a half. So that's 15 over two. So let me redraw that. So I've got 48. Sorry about that. Um, what have I got? I've got seven and a half. So 15 over two way is 18 there. So 15 over two A is equal to minus 30. Take the 2 up is minus 60. Divide by 15 is minus 4. Go stop that because I made a mistake. Sorry about that. You might have spotted it actually before me. I didn't swear before, did I? Sorry about that. Now there is one for you to do. I'm going to undo it so you can pause it and have a look. Wowzers. These brackets around here. Come on, lazy bird. Eat them. There. Have a look at that one. And then we've got some questions. Right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.